everybody. It's me, Allie. I'm back. I'd like to definitely thank my good friend, Maddie Ice, for stepping in for me while I was struggling with COVID. I'm feeling much better. I feel like I'm the only person who gained weight during COVID. I feel like everyone else loses weight, but I feel a little fuller in the face. I don't know. But anyways, I'm back. You are watching Fan Spotlight Reacts to She-Hulk. This is episode six, I believe, and we are... Watching just Jen. All right, this is the. I think this is the wedding episode. I think. I don't know. I I try to avoid spoilers as much as possible, but it just never works out. So just keep in mind, I'm still a little bit under the weather, so my voice may not sound as beautiful as it always does. But I assure you, I'm here to have a good time, to react with you guys. So hands and feet inside of the vehicle, and let's get reacting. Shall we? I think we shall. I don't like I don't like the nasty green skin comment. It bothers me. Oh my god! I don't understand how Titania is supposed to be an influencer and yet she has the worst fashion sense I have ever seen. Like it does it doesn't like, ma'am, who who are you influencing? Cause it's giving me very geriatric vibes. I don't like it. No offense to older people, but it's just, I don't know who her demographic is. Like, at all. I saw Shang-Chi again! Ah! I feel like I'm partially responsible for that. <laughs> oh! I've never, I've almost been a bridesmaid. But I love the, like, the way they act if you want to be a bridesmaid now. I think that's so cute. Why does have a wedding on Thursday? On a Thursday? Easy. No. I like Miss Mallory. She is beautiful. Once again, music is fire. Ah! She's from um Shrill. I promise I will just show up as regular Jen at your wedding. She has to listen to what the bride is saying. She has to. She said, them titties are soft. <laughs> Just Jen, attorney at law. Okay. What are the odds Madison is attending this wedding? Like, what are the odds? No. In fact, it could be said that no one has tried more than me. Oh, my God. I find that you are emotionally... Who is he married to? I do. I die, but only for a little... He kind of, I like how he keeps doing this. Did you ever feel considerate? That's not the word you're No, he's a jerk. They drove him to kill himself again. This might be the darkest thing Disney has ever done. A man who just goes around killing himself. He paying for that window. Damn, how many outfit changes is she gonna do? I hate, I fucking hate that friend. I hate that friend who's like, the only way they can cut you down is to be like, you don't have a person. Hey, fucking Titania's at this wedding. Never, no, no. Why do they keep giving her the ugliest clothes to wear? Why is, her outfits are horrid. And I'm not trying to, maybe that's done intentionally. Because I'm not trying to insult whoever does like costume work here, but those outfits are horrid. Horrid. She is influencing no one. I still haven't perfected the least awkward way to. Oh, he cute. My plan was to strike up a very normal conversation with a beautiful woman stuffing her face with candy nuts. Oh. <laughs> I'm very good at sticking to my plan. Yeah, you go. Yeah. Okay. Arnie accidentally swallowed a sign. How do you accident? What? Babies. My friend sent me a link to a video posted on that site, Intelligentsia. The one for hateful man babies? Yep, that's the one. Okay, I, I like Intelligentsia. Into my idiot husband, Roger. Oh, he out here with the fake names, too. You are lucky you're not in prison. Absolutely. Okay, reconvene, reconvene. I love it. I love Mallory. It's a lot of scamming going around in the MCU. Yeah, so you're an ironing dude, right? I am? Yeah, go 
Absolutely. Oh, who is it? Absolutely, yes. That's who I. Yes. Yes, I would like to walk down the aisle with Jonathan. Absolutely. Oh my god. Incredible Hawk. No. It's a cash bar. You can't have a wedding without Annie Lennox. You quit your job to help Paul run a rare jade shop in Piedmont. A jade shop? That seems interminable. Oh my god, that's uncomfortable. I truly did love each and every Yeah, no. No. He's in space, it's different. Most fun I've seen you have all weekend. They're Wednesday and Thursday. Josh is so cute. They gave you a good face, too. Oh, did they? Yeah. Wow. Ooh! And you didn't see what my She Hulk hair looks like. Oh. Her She Hulk hair is fabulous. I think you're pretty great. Can we keep Josh? Are we allowed to keep Josh? Let it out, babe. Let it all out. Get out of here! That's the nicest outfit she's worn this entire show. Truly. Truly. Not the. Sh she can't do it. I love how she's like. How do I She Hawk again? Oh, that was bad CGI on all of the levels. Ah! She went Oh my god. Bring it out the way! Oh shit! Oh baby girl, that's gotta hurt. What he? What he do? I mean, if I was angry, I would take a cake. Is she at the wedding now? We're all scared of Lulu. I love you so much. Oh, sis is zooted. I mean. I have been married a long time. You married? Mm-hmm. Who's her husband? That's enough questions. Okay. She has child and husband. No. It's not just that. Some of these are death threats. Nikki, they're just trolls. Any attention no, that's not okay. I would. T someone would have to call me. Oh, French. I, listen, I don't drink anymore. But I, my favorite thing after a long night of drinking is a cheeseburger and French fries. She's doing it right. Oh, not Josh being up. What are the odds this is Roxanne again? They always find a way to put Roxanne in these things. And like, there was no Roxanne in Moon... No, was there? I think there was Roxanne in Moon Knight. Not Miss Marvel, I don't think. But I think we maybe this is Roxanne. This episode was fine, but like, why, why do we need it? Why do we, why do we need it? Besides Jonathan. I could have had the whole episode be Jonathan. I'm going to be honest with you. But I don't understand what this episode is for. Like, I, and Titania, like... I don't... What are they doing? <laughs> I like the last week's episode better because it was more of the lawyer aspect we're supposed to get of this show. I don't... I don't know. I don't know. I don't... I, I just... And Jamila Jamila's a good actress. But, like, this role serves her not. Like, it, it's... I'm trying to find the words to explain how I'm feeling on the inside. Let's see if we get an end credit scene. What? There was no end credit scene! And this is the shortest episode so far. It was only like 26 minutes. Or less than that if you take out the intro and the recap. Again, I I think the series started off on like this cute note. And now we're just kind of riding this like mediocre wave, if I'm going to be honest. I think the best episode was the one with Madison and Wong. And literally, that's on the strength of Madison and Wong. Like, I feel like She-Hulk herself is not as developed. And maybe that's intentional because Jen is just getting into accepting who she is as She-Hulk, like getting into that role. But it's just not doing anything. Like, it's not, it's, the show is really unfulfilling. And I think a lot of us, and I, I 
again, I'm, I'm speaking for me, but I'm going to generalize a little bit. I think a lot of us are like really hanging on with the hopes that the show not only gets better, but we really are waiting to see what this whole Daredevil situation is going to look like because this is She-Hawk attorney at law and Matt Murdock is a lawyer. So if this show is going to do the lawyer thing that it keeps claiming it's going to do like, then by definition, then that episode should like legit be the best episode. Maybe. I don't know. And the thing is like, I want to like this show because I do, but (laughs) is, is, uh, they had me in the first half. I'm not going to lie. They had me in the first half of this. And for this show to have more than six episodes and three of them to be filler, I don't, I just want to talk to somebody. Like, I want to talk to somebody at Marvel. Like, can I talk to Kevin Feige? Like, is he, is he busy? Kevin, if you're watching this, please message us at Final Twilight. And I will just, I just feel like we need conversation because I don't, I don't know what this is. Like, I just, I just don't. I know. But those are my feelings. <laughs> Let me know what yours are. I can only imagine how you guys felt about this episode. And what a way to introduce Mr. Immortal, a character so many people love. Right, you guys? <laughs> um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Remember to have fun, follow your fandom, and we'll see you next time. Toodaloo! Ew! And I apologize for my loopiness. <laughs> Seriously, see you guys. This is Bo Billingsley, and you're watching the Fandom Spotlight. Be sure to like and subscribe, but more importantly, have fun and follow your fandom.